Ammon Bundy here, uh, trying to keep a smile on my face. This Hammond case really digs deep into the soul and makes you wonder what's going on. Um, I do need to give you a more thorough update and I'll prepare that showing how the due process was not due process at all. How there was a tremendous amount of corruption in its origins. Tremendous amount of corruption um, in the indictment, in the trial, in the sentencing, and then of course the resentencing, and then even now. A couple things that I talked to you about before, about the sheriff feeding the information to the FBI, that has been confirmed again. Also, uh, the threats that were given to the Hammonds if they continued to communicate with me, uh, they were confirmed that they came from the U.S. Attorney's Office and that his words were that the Hammonds, if they did not speak end communications with Ammon Bundy, that the Hammonds would be detained early and put in a less desirable pr prison. A less desirable prison. You have to understand, the Hammonds are preparing to be gone from their family for five years. And Frank Papagni is threatening to shorten that period of time so that they can't prepare their wives to take care of the ranches when they're, the ranch when they're gone. Also, it means to Dwight, who's 74 years old, if he gets thrown into a less desirable prison, uh, he'll probably be abused to the point where he won't live. And so these threats are very real and uh, very intimidating to the Hammonds. Now I want to show you a video of a rancher that ranches uh, just a couple, a few miles from the Hammonds. Um, and it shows how the BLM cares about the ranchers and cares about the community. This uh, was done in July, and the BLM started some fires in July. And prescribed fires are not done in July because they have all summer that they need to feed their animals on. And so, basically, the BLM were burning the rancher's grass and as the video will show, many other things. I want you to understand also that this video was filmed uh, less than two weeks from the day the Hammonds were sentenced for starting a fire themselves. Uh, this fire So here's the issue. We've got uh, the BLM went in and lit fire along the uh, hillside here by the dump, but there's nobody here. It would be easy with a couple of guys with shovels right now to put this out and uh, we'd have a good fire break, but when the wind hits it, it's going to carry it right on along the hill and down to French Glen which is right there so and if it creeps away from the hill obviously in the foreground there's a lot of fuel so it looks like it's set to burn French Glen and that's what they said they would do so here we go so as you can see they brought the fire right to us it was uh, way west last night when the sun went down it was dying down somehow overnight it ended up right here it's pretty obvious that this is man lit. Well, I'm at Gary's Krells here, and uh, last night, well, nobody's around. They lit the fire right here close to everybody's houses, and we're gonna have a hell of a lot of fire come evening. They're not putting it out, they're lighting it. 
this is a bunch of bullshit, let me tell you. We're standing at the crells, and them sons of bitches started at the corner of the road where it leaves the pavement, and they're lighting that son of a bitch on fire all the way around us. They're going right down that. I'm standing here, me and John Whitzel, you got a water truck and stuff, and the Brader's building a fire line, and they're building a fire all the way around us. Yeah. And it's a flaming. Upwind of us. And yeah, and we're all there. We're smoke coming right out. Well, John's taking pictures right now, and he said that they told him they're going to torture all the way around to the Sea Bar Sea Road, and Noose Wander's cows are fence cornered up down there right now. Gary lost 11 already. They're just about to burn that outfit up. Nobody's there. They lit the fire and moved right on. This is what they've got lit upwind of us right now. They're putting in a whole line of fire right along that juniper post fence and burning the fence up number one. But then they're, they're going to continue right on to the west, sounds like, clear up past Leon's cows. So his cows are going to be wrapped in it here pretty quick. Now they're still lighting, burning fences, power poles, you name it. This is the fire that would endanger French Glen. There's still nobody around. This guy down the road told us they didn't have any resources to put it out. But down the road about two miles beyond the turn out of sight is at least a dozen pumpers sitting there eating snacks and whatnot. I got there determined they're going to burn everybody out. They're lighting it up here again. Got Jimmy and Gary and those guys uh, right downwind of where these guys are lighting fire again. We're heading trying to go help save the coral system and uh, get old Jimmy out of trouble. Yeah, he said, I will arrest you. This highway is closed. God. I said, Well, I gotta get on the other end of the fire. Where was this? You ain't going, he said. I said, well, we got to get over there because if you burn me out down there, well. So, yeah, this is what we got. Those guys that we just went by upwind, they're lighting it. Have it coming right to us here. We're going to try to spray this down. No place to go with the cows except in the corral. A lot of them are already burnt really bad from them guys lighting them and trapping these cattle in the fire. They trapped a bunch of them last night. And then they went up wind of us here and lit it up. So we're at Gary's Krells. Here's a cow that's been burnt really bad. We got these guys gonna light fire up it from us again. They don't care where we're at or what's going on, but So here's what we got. Uh, there goes the house up in smoke that they surrounded with fire earlier. The house is going up, totally caused by BLM.